everybody in attendance tonight. Get a bottle in your hands and pull up. And if you are K and me, hate it. Hello, and welcome to Inconsequential Souls. Today, I wanted to talk a little bit about the Academy Assassin class that appeared in the network test for Dark Souls 3. Um, I really didn't think that the character was portrayed correctly. And I'm kind of curious as to why that is. Um, I also wanted to talk a little bit about the, uh, the Dragon School of Vinheim, which uh, kind of plays more into why it is I was kind of confused about the uh, Academy Assassin class that appeared in the network test. And, um, and lastly, I wanted to talk about uh, some of the ways that I believe that the class should have been presented. And uh, I took it upon myself to do a challenge and see if I could make a proper uh, Academy Assassin in uh, Dark Souls 2. And I had some I had some good success with that, but I'll talk about that later. Uh, first and foremost, I really need to discuss um, why it is that I am really confused about the Academy Assassin class, um, the way that it appeared in the network test. Okay, so let's get the good part out of the way first. The obvious good part. Yes, the character's um, armor and uh, helmet and hat and everything looks really cool. Um, it's kind of... It's interesting because it's kind of a really strange and alternative light armor. Um, that has a very Assassin's Creed um, vibe to it, but um, I think the the mask slash hat give it its um, own uh, its own kind of little thing, or I would say its look, where he he really does look like or she um he or she really does look like uh an assassin character um very cool design no doubt but looks aside there were a few problems with that character class um and they were really big ones and i was I was kind of surprised um that no one really said anything about it and because that's the case I figured that why not yeah if nobody else gonna, is gonna say anything why not me now this is the I would say the first time we ever get to see uh, a Venheim assassin who is really just um, in full costume um, or in full battle dress I would say rather than a spy um, just literally an assassin and I was really shocked because there's obvious um Spells that are influenced from um, the school of Venheim, and that character didn't have any of them. Like, uh, now, see, this is the thing. It might be that um, the network test was a stress test slash showcase where maybe the developers wanted to showcase how magic and um, the different types of weapons have evolved going from 
the previous games to this one. Um, and you know, if that's the case, then then that's fine. Um, you know, because it's just it was just a demo character, uh, not that big a deal. The problem for me is again when it comes to things like stealth or any type of alternative build there's always these problems that arise whereas the the essentials kind of get lost because they get abused by people who aren't really even interested in espionage or stealth you know or being um sneaky or tricky uh, and the fact that that character you can basically say is right from Venheim and we don't get to see the character represent any of the um I mean e at least even one spell out of like the many that have uh could have been used and they're not even that strong you know just just to let us know that yes this character is an assassin and i didn't see that i got to see a bunch of spells that an assassin wouldn't use um like the soul darts which is a zoning tool um assassins would want things with more punch to it because they're trying to kill they're not trying to zone or have a fight drag out. And, and then going into the fact that the character was wielding a spear, which is a, a weapon that you kind of have to get your spacing right. And, you know, it, it's, it's, a, it's, it's a weapon to control space with a bunch of pokes. That's not an assassin. Assassins go for the critical hits, the kill moves. And yes, it might have been a difficult class to use, and it might have had a high skill ceiling, but I would have liked it to be represented a little bit better in the uh, network test. And that leads me to the School of Venheim, um, which just in this network test alone, we finally get to see everything come full circle. Um, now, I was never really interested in using magic. I, I always kind of stuck to melee alternative builds, and I would use um, magic more as a, a synergy utility option, um, mostly to compensate for damage output or to... Um, ambush um, enemies or to do you know devastating uh, combos like any type of uh, assassin uh, slash thief uh, type character would now what's cool um, and when I say bringing it full circle is that now we have three different representatives um, we have you well this is just in my opinion we have Big Hat Logan, um, which is the typical nuke mage, um, whereas uh, and players kind of blur that line, but for the most part, nuke mages do a, a lot of damage um, in a short amount of time, but they're usually very fragile, and a lot of their attacks are top-heavy, and that kind of leads to um i would say player skill of keeping away from the opponent and trying to hit them with as many powerful attacks as possible then you have um your more balanced mage i would say like uh griggs of venheim who mostly um It's kind of difficult to put him in a category because, to to be fair, um, magic was kind of um, 
underwhelming in Dark Souls 1. It was a thing where either you had a really strong and powerful spell or you didn't. And there was really no... Um, hmm. There was really no... I can't say skill, because that wouldn't be fair. But I would just say it, it, it's not like Dark Souls 2 where you can use sleight of hand or techniques to improve how effective spells are in real time. It was sort of like you cast a spell and it was this huge announcement with you lifting your wand up and you know uh shooting off you know some projectile. Um in Dark Souls two it's a little bit more um complex which allows um some interesting combinations. And the last one I would say would be Rickard. Um, but we don't get to see Rickard do a whole lot of anything. So at the most, maybe the Forest Hunter Mage. Um, but again, very underrepresented. But my, my point is, we get to see the fact that these Venheim spells, and this is why I'm so disappointed, but these Venheim spells with this character that we got to see in the network test would have been a great opportunity to have a stealth mage, not the <clears throat> the typical um, make yourself invisible or use chameleon mage who hides and then shoots a powerful spell and either one shots the opponent or doesn't um but more the one like if they engage in battle it's not a pium 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 competition it's more like oh, okay well i tried to stealth kill you that didn't work so let me still kill you um and and it's like we had the opportunity to see that and i think that's still going to be a possibility um, but it, it shows the full circle where Venheim is about magic, but the different disciplines of magic are what makes characters unique. And that's what I'm excited about um, in Dark Souls 3 is the possibility that now we might actually have different kinds of mages. And that is what made me interested in using magic. Uh, with a character to see if I could represent exactly what I was talking about and surprise I, I went into the arena and I absolutely destroyed uh, people and it was it was ridiculously um effective now i i can't really speak on magic all that much because i rarely use it and from what i know in dark souls 2 it went through a lot of um rebalancing and i i overhear sometimes that <clears throat> it got nerfed i couldn't tell though the damage that I was doing with my Academy Assassin build was absolutely phenomenal. And it got to the point where a majority of the players were um, switching their equipment around just to counter me. And it got to the point where some of my opponents were almost unkillable and i mean i could still pull out a win every so often but it it was almost like the damage i was doing was so poor that um it, it was kind of difficult to prove what it is that i was saying and may, maybe the blood of uh, Brotherhood of Blood Arena was, wasn't the place to do it. Um, I think 
what I was doing would have been a little bit more effective doing invasions. Um, whereas the opponents um, wouldn't, uh, you know, unless I invaded them several times, they wouldn't have had the, I would say, the, the focused intent on trying to counter me um, in a sense of a duel. Uh, but yes, before um, before uh, my opponent started countering me with, um, uh, you know, most of them typically had great magic barrier, which wasn't a big deal. But it, it was getting to the point where he started equipping things like uh, York's ring and uh, disp uh, dispeller rings and things like that, where uh, I would hit them and do like as little as like 50 uh, damage so but yes um I pretty much I believe proved my point that even in Dark Souls 2 um and this is amazing because the fact that I've never touched magic most of the mages that I fought I was able to interpret how some spells kind of work and so I used my knowledge of watching other people use magic to build that character. And I, it, the character went through a few um, tweaks. And prior to, yes, it, it was even a time where um, prior to fixing my stats, I was using a shield and uh, I wasn't very good with it, you know, where... Um, the item has an X on it, uh, but it it almost it almost didn't matter. I only noticed the drawbacks once my opponent started to uh, counter me with um, anti magic. But yeah, with no prior knowledge of magic and uh, very little experience with it, I was able to show exactly what it is that I was talking about and why I was disappointed with the Academy Assassin. In the network test again it could have been a magic showcase um the spells that i was using in the arena are what you would probably call late game spells uh i do agree with them giving him uh soul great sword and i guess that one's a given but um still in all um no prior understanding of magic and I simply asked the question what would an assassin do and I really hope that um, in Dark Souls 3 <clears throat> the developers ask themselves the same questions I, I think the spell set that we have in Dark Souls 2 is a really good one um, I would like to see the return of some of the spells that were um, removed from the previous games I would just like them to be a bit more unique how I believe what they kinda did is replace the the lights uh, soul arrows with the soul uh, knives and instead of it being a weaker version of a different spell it's it just it's weaker but it serves a different purpose I, I want to see more of that that would be interesting and I would like to see some newer spells but to be to be honest with you though there are so many good spells in Dark Souls 2 already that I just think the task for the developers is just to make them a little bit more um, useful consistent and a little bit more unique and if they can do that uh, it, it should be fine in my opinion well anyhow this has been inconsequential souls it's been good speaking with you once again and I hope to see you next time
Gangsta, EKs, tight turtlenecks, Jordan.